news lately, you've heard about the coyotes in Upper oh, Manhattan yeah. in Central mm -hmm. Park. Uh, they haven't made it across the East River yet, as far as I know. Um, and in fact, Long Island is the only major landmass in the eastern United States where the coyote has not yet established a population. Uh, but they may be on their way, so lock your doors, look out. Um, <laughs> when I mention wild animals that I've seen here in New York, um, people are generally very surprised which is understandable, but at the same time, we have an amazing, amazing level of biodiversity here in New York, um, spanning the entire animal kingdom, and literally hundreds of different species are here. Um, and if we just open our eyes and look around, uh, it's really not that hard to spot them. In Brooklyn, places like Floyd Bennett Field, Marine Park, um, Brooklyn Botanic Garden, Prospect Park right across the street, and there's a huge coastline all along Jamaica Bay, um, Sheepshead Bay, and it's pretty easy to go out there and see a lot of different animals. Um, so it's, it shouldn't be surprising, I guess, what it is, because we, we can kind of get into a, a feeling of being very separate from nature when we're here in an urban setting. Um, and in fact, we aren't that separate. It's, it's really all around us. The fact that there is so much wildlife here, I think, really speaks to the resilience and the adaptability of nature, and um, you know the way that it really is a part of, of everything, even a very urban, very human-constructed environment. Um, it's still here, um, and I think that it has a lot of lessons that we can learn from that fact. Um, and it's it's good to go out and just be able to walk down the street and see nature um, in, a, in a spot that you don't expect to see it. So I would encourage everyone to uh, go out and look around and think about all the different species, you know, not just pigeons, not just squirrels, but uh, there's just an amazing amount of biodiversity out there. Um, and it's good timing for my exhibition because this year, 2010, is the International Year of Biodiversity, um, it's something that the United Nations has focused on this year to celebrate the variety of life in all its forms and the importance and value that it has to sustaining networks of life and ecosystems that uh, are important for humans as well as nature, wildlife, uh, plants, and, and everything. So it's a you know, good time to learn about all the creatures that are right here around us, a uh, good time to not feel separate from nature just because we're in the city, but to uh, think about everything all around us um, in unexpected places. And so I'd like to thank the library, which is a fantastic venue for artwork here in Brooklyn. I live just a few blocks away, and I've seen all kinds of fabulous shows here over the years. Uh, it's really great to see the library being such a strong supporter of the arts.